your threat to get a warrant for my arrest. Okay. If you want to run your mouth, you will go in handcuffs. Do you understand me? Sit down. Sit Why down. Are you speaking to me like this? Do you want to go to f***ing jail right god now? Shut up. Sit down. Shut up. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In August of 2022, a small convenience store in Bridgeport, West Virginia was visited by compliance officers. During the visit, one of the store's employees sold tobacco to a 20-year-old customer and was cited. Federal law bans the sale of tobacco to anyone under 21, though the state's prohibition is for persons under 18 years. Ten days later, the store's owner, Jennifer Bruce, received a phone call from Trooper Trupo of the West Virginia State Police, informing her that the the store was due a citation as well, but that the trooper had forgotten to write it during his initial visit. Jennifer alleges that the trooper asked if he could either mail it or drop it off, and after asking for it to be mailed, the trooper confirmed her address. She also asked for Trooper Trupo to include a copy of the statute. I said, could you also include a copy of that law with the citation just so I can have it as a reference because I honestly was not even aware. He instantly flipped. He said in a very loud, stern voice, he goes, I tell you what, you got two choices. You either come to the Bridgeport office and pick up this citation, or I'm getting a warrant out for your arrest and I'll just come and pick you up myself. I was dead in my tracks. I froze. I said, wow, that escalated quickly. Like, why, why, okay, I'll be there, I, you know, I'll be there to get it. After the troopers outburst over the phone, Jennifer traveled down to collect her citation. West Virginia is a one-party consent state when it comes to audio recording, meaning that if you intend on recording a conversation, at least one person in the conversation must consent for the recording to be legal. If you are a participant in the conversation, you can be the one person to consent to the recording. So when Jennifer traveled down to the station, as a precaution, she began an audio recording prior to entering to receive the store citation. How are you doing today? I'm well, how are you? I'm good, how can I help you? I'm looking for Officer Trupo or Trubo. Trupo? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you need? I'm supposed to meet him here. Okay. Uh, just hang out here. Thank you. What's your name? Trooper Bruce. Bruce. So far so good, but about 20 seconds later, Trooper Trupo greets Jennifer in the lobby. Is Bruce? Yes. From Hawkman? Yes. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Okay. okay. Just hang out. But by, by chance you don't have a copy of your business license, do you? No. That's okay, fine. By chance, can we talk first? We yeah, we we, we Okay. Can. Like Sorry. your threat to get a warrant for my arrest. Okay. Sit. Uh, wait, let me speak first. Please okay. don't interrupt. I no, asked stop. if I could speak. Sit down. Sit down. Be quiet. You're going to take this citation. You're going to walk out of here with a citation. If you want to run your mouth, you will go in handcuffs. Do you understand me? You sit. offered to sit. mail it. Sit down. I told you I would not mail you a ticket. Sit down. Sit Why down. Why are you speaking to me like this? Do you want to go to fucking jail right god now? Sit down, shut your fucking mouth, and you will take a ticket, and you will leave this fucking office. Do you understand? You have two options. One fucking ticket, or you go with charges to North Central Regional Jail. Shut up. Sit down. Shut up. I will not hear any more out of your fucking mouth. Shut up. Sit right there. After the incident, Jennifer filed a formal complaint against Trooper Trupo, and it appears he was suspended. But Jennifer alleges that the officer that took her statement left out a lot of important information, and that the investigation has now been reopened. The funny thing is, Jennifer never broke the law. And while it's common for a store to be cited for the actions of an employee, there is no excuse for this type of treatment, even if she had. Jennifer's citation was dismissed before making it to court. The clerks, however, was not. It appears fairly obvious that this trooper does not possess the required social skills necessary to work with the public, especially in such a capacity that holds authority over people he seems to despise. Why the state has elected to retain such a man as an employee and allow him to continue carrying a firearm with such an explosive temper is unknown. In most jobs, an employee would be fired on the spot for treating their customers this way, which makes this encounter a prime example of why police unions need to be dissolved. I'm leaving a link to the store's Facebook page in the comments and description. If you ever find yourself visiting Lost Creek, West Virginia, be sure to check them out and honor their business. And be sure to let them know that I sent you. He just cut me off and said, you know what, you know, you're going to get this citation and you're going to walk out this door. And I was just like, 
all I kept thinking was, like, it went from, you know, I'll mail this to you to if you don't come and get this right now, I'm getting a warrant for your arrest. I was just in such shock that he had exploded like that. It wasn't just about being cursed at. It was the pure anger and the pure fear that he put into me. Officer Chupo comes out, um, he verifies who I am and what I'm there for. And at that point I said, you know, I asked him, I was like, hey, you know, you, can we talk? And he goes, yeah, 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 what, what, what is it, what is it? And I said, your threat to get a warrant for my, and then he like interrupted me at that point and I couldn't speak. Um, he had started yelling at me at that point. He said, I tell you what, I'm gonna write you this citation and you're gonna get in your car and you're gonna leave. And I said, you offered to mail it. And then he starts screaming at me again to shut the F up and set the F down and shut the F up. And um, he had a, just a plain manila folder like this in his hand. Mm -hmm. um, and just a paper folder and as he was screaming like he slammed it on the ground and you can hear that in the recording as well sit down sit Why down are you speaking to me like this? do you want to go to jail right god now and he turned around like i honestly thought he was just going to snatch me up and arrest me right then and I'm just sitting here so confused and like wondering why like no one's coming out from the back because I heard other officers talking in the back and I'm just thinking like why is no one coming out to like see why what's going on does he need help do I need help like you know why why is he screaming like this no one seemed to care at all and I just keep thinking he's so young and he potentially has 30 more years on the force. If this was a stressful situation to make him react like that, what's he doing on the street with something more serious? Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content and check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.